the Keto ND in office, and I wanted to go into more on the leg length discrepancy. So I'm going to do a quick video to show how to measure for this issue, as it's very common. So I have my volunteer here. It's best if you obviously have somebody to help you do this. You're not really going to be able to know. Um, so do go to somebody who's qualified to do that, or you could use a partner. You might be able to get a rough idea. Uh, can you so there's two kinds of leg length discrepancies. One is anatomical or physical, and it's literally that the bones of the leg are shorter or longer on one side. And then a functional leg length discrepancy is that um, is that we have a problem in the hips most commonly or elsewhere that functionally is twisting the, the hips and pelvis in such a way that it makes one side longer or shorter. So I'll, dis, I'll show you how to first measure anatomical leg length discrepancies. And I believe that, number one, most people have this issue upwards of maybe 70% I've read. Um, now, functional leg length discrepancy is much more common, and you could also have both, of course. So to get a quick measurement of the leg lengths anatomically, you want to find the greater trochanter at the hip, and it's the upper part of your femur, and it's the bony spot right at the top of the hip. That's the same spot. Sometimes it's hard to find the femoral, the greater trochanter. Yeah, we're 62. So measure a few times and 62. So you're exactly the same, which is good. So that's anatomical length. The other way, now to get a functional leg length, I want you to bend your knees, lift your rump off the table, and put it back down. And that just kind of corrects the hips too, so that he's not twisted as he's just laying. And then you put your ankles and knees together. It's easier to sometimes even do this with shoes on. Make sure you're not pulling or twisting to one side and then you just look at the bottom. Hey, you have equal length legs. That's really good. 